Yo, what is up guys, Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV, hopefully you guys are doing well, if you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you guys for an influx of subscribers recently, I think we got 100 new subscribers uh, towards the end of last week, so I'm not sure what's gone on there, considering how inactive this channel has been recently. I'm not sure if somebody has shouted me out, who knows, but if that is the case, let me know so I can express my gratitude. Um, but anyway, let's actually get into the video. Long time boxing scribe and pie-eating extraordinaire Dan Raphael has confirmed that David Benavidez versus David Morrell has now all been agreed by both parties. Apparently, David Benavidez's promoter, Samson Lukovic, has confirmed this. Now, of course, both of these guys, I would say, are among the leading contenders at 168. Well, David Benavidez, to me, is the clear-cut contender at 168. He's coming off his biggest win over Kayla Plants, uh, obviously a former two-time 168-pound champion uh, within the WBC. Of course, he lost those titles due to ill-discipline outside the ring, missing weight and testing positive for cocaine. But it appears now that David Benavidez and his career is heading in the right direction. Of course, Benavidez is also the WBC number one contender, and I think he holds the WBC interim 168-pound title. As for David Morell, he's a guy I rate. He's only, what, 24, 25 years old, Cuban fighter. Uh, he's impressed me so far in his pro career. Of course, he has a good amateur pedigree. And he himself, I believe, is the WBA regular champion at 168. His level of competition hasn't been as good as Benavidez. And listen, Benavidez's resume isn't the strongest, uh, aside from Kayla Plants, but Morel has definitely fought lesser competition. But so far in his career, David Morell has taken care of these guys as he should be doing. He's been knocking most of these guys out, and he's been scoring pretty brutal knockouts at that, and all in all, he's looked pretty good dealing with the guys who he's been dealing with. But of course, this would be a big step up for David Morell, but I rate Morell. I think he's a very talented fighter. You know, he's got good power, good hand speed, good combinations, he moves well, he's he's quick, he's agile. And all in all, I see David Morell as a fighter with a very high ceiling. So the prospect of these two guys coming together in a 168 pound match, uh, a, a, a 168 pound bout, really intrigues me and it really excites me. Uh, both of their styles should gel quite well. Morel for me, kind of merges from boxer to boxer puncher. As I said, he hits hard. Whereas Benavidez is more aggressive. He likes to fight on the front foot, collapse the pocket, work the body, and really drag you into a war of attrition. That is Benavidez's style. He tries to get on top of you. And yeah, c combine that with, ben uh, with uh, Morel's style, a guy who can move, but he can box. And primarily, he's most effective as a boxer puncher. I think this fight could be fireworks, I really do. I know a lot of people are saying it's too early for David Morell, but I don't know, man. I think Morell is going to be very dangerous in this fight, I really do. You know, it, it's not like you have to find Benavidez, right? Um, he does take risks, he does he does come forward, he is there to be hit. And, you know, Morell seems to have power, he puts his shots together well. It'll be interesting to see how, how that power affects David Benavidez, because so far in his career, we've not really seen Benavidez hurt, you know? He's really utilised that size advantage he has on his opponents, and I, I know he got dropped against Ronald Gavril, but if you go back and watch that fight, it was a flash knockdown. Benavidez wasn't hurt, it was more of a balance issue than anything else. So it's going to be interesting to see how Benavidez takes the power of Morel, because I would certainly guess that Morel is the hardest puncher that Benavidez has fought to date. I know Benavidez fought Lemieux, but that was a that was a way past it. Lemieux at 168. Lemieux has never been a super middleweight. Um, 
So yeah, I would say Morel is as big a puncher as Benavidez has ever faced and probably the biggest puncher he's faced. So there's that factor. But on the flip side, we know Benavidez can go 12 rounds. We know his power remains relatively consistent throughout those 12 rounds as we saw in that Caleb Plant fight. And he maintains a good work rate. He makes you work hard throughout those 12 rounds. We've not really seen David Morell in that sort of fight. Is it too early for this sort of fight? Maybe. But I, I, I like that both guys, it looks like they're confident enough to take this sort of fight. Um, again, these are the two most interesting guys at 168, aside from obviously the champion Canelo. So seeing these two guys fight would be... I, I would love to see it personally. And if you're Benavidez, I, I know Benavidez is the number one guy at 168. He could sit on his laurels and wait for Canelo, but to me it doesn't look like Canelo really wants to fight Benavidez. So uh, Benavidez needs to move on. He needs to keep fighting. He needs to fight good guys, fight dangerous fights, because that's how you stay sharp, right? That's how you improve when you take these risky fights. So... Yeah, ra rather than wait for Canelo, I think it's wise to, to pursue this sort of fight. I really do. And I know certain people are going to try and spin it. You know, that they negotiated this fight before even trying to get Canelo. Well, again, according to Benavidez's promoter, they made Canelo an offer. Um, not only that, we've heard news of Canelo um, talking to Badu Jack. He's been talking to Jamal Charlo. For me, the energy has never been there for a Benavidez fight from Team Canelo. I think it's been it's been apparent. So, I don't blame Benavidez for exploring other routes, other options. And if this fight is to come off, I'll certainly be very satisfied with this fight. And quite frankly, if this fight does get made, I'll be a little bit surprised, to be honest. Um, I'll be a little bit surprised. But yeah, anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you make of this fight? Are you as interested as I am? I, I like this one. Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.